தமிழ்நாடு சிறு குறு மற்றும் நடுத்தார் தொழில்துறை அமைச்சர் திரு டி எம் அன்பரசன் அவர்களே விஐடி கல்வி நிறுவனங்களின் நிருபனர் மற்றும் வேந்தர் டாக்டர் ஜி விஸ்வநாதன் அவர்களே வேலூர் சர்வதேச பள்ளியின் தலைவரும் விஐடி துளை தலைவரன் திரு ஜி வி செல்வம் அவர்களே விஐடி துணை தலைவர் டாக்டர் சேகர் விஸ்வநாதன் அவர்களே இந்நிகழ்ச்சியின் நேர்லையில் கலந்து கொண்டு வருகளே சகோதர சகோதரிங்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் வேலூர் சர்வதேச பள்ளியை திறந்து வைக்கைங்கு இருப்பதில் பெரு மகிழ்ச்சி அடைகிறேன் மை டியர் பிரதர்ஸ் அண்ட் சிஸ்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் எங்ஸ்டர்ஸ் ஐ ஃபீல் ரியலி வெரி ஹாப்பி டு பி அட்மிஸ்ட் ஆல் டுடே டு இனாகரேட் திஸ் பிரிஸ்டேஜியஸ் ஸ்கூல் இன்ஷேட் பை ஸ்ரீ விஸ்வநாதன் காரு அண்ட் இஸ் அதர் ஃபேமிலி மெம்பர்ஸ் த ஸ்கூல் ஆஸ் ஐ குட் சி இஸ் ஷேக்கிங் ஷேப்பிங் அப் டு பி எஸ்ப்ளெண்டிட் அண்ட் செரேன் கேம்பஸ் ஐடியல் ஃபார் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் ஐ காம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் தி மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் விஐடி குரூப் ஆஃப் இன்ஸ்டியூஷன்ஸ் ஃபார் திஸ் இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் மைல் ஸ்டோன் in their educational journey i am reminded of the renowned tamil poet bharathiyar who wrote that it is more virtuous to educate a child than to build a thousand temples or the ms are set up thousands of feeding centers anna chatra the vit group has been making consistent efforts to strengthen higher, higher education in the private sector and i am confident this institution will be another feather in their cap my dear sisters and brothers as you are aware india has been the treasure house of knowledge and the cradle of academic excellence since ancient times in the gurukul system education was given almost utmost importance and the focus was on importing knowledge and skills to bring out a holistic development of an individual holistic development of an individual that is more important friends you are all aware india was once upon a time known as vishwa guru students from across the globe they used to come to india nalanda takshashila vikramashila they used to come and study here and get to be enlightened that is the history but unfortunately in between because of colonial rule we lost our moorings we lost our prominence now again india is on the rise india is on the move so we should again focus more and more on importing quality education education is for enhancement of knowledge education is for empowerment of an individual education is not for mere employment this has to be understood by one and all and education must be taken up as a mission not for commission without giving any remission or doing any omission we must have the passion for the sake of the nation this has to be understood by all people in the educational field i am very happy that sri viswanathan garu has taken initiative and focused mainly on importing education to the children technical education higher education now focusing on school education it's a noble initiative and i always feel happy because this man with all his background and being in politics leaving position and then taking up this mission because he has the passion is really admirable and i compliment him and i suggest to his children also to follow the same and see to it that they specialize 
in imparting education that to quality education to our children the india philosophical mathematics science and medicine astronomy we were known to be the leading lights at that time it is my fervent appeal to schools across the nation to foster the spirit of curiosity innovation and excellence in students the prime minister honorable prime minister sri narendra bhai modi has given a three line mantra he said reform perform and transform transformation of the system transformation of the individual transformation of the nation transformation for betterment of the people and transformation to pay to make people's life more comfortable and more than anything more than anything more happier happy life is more important than mere comfortable life so this has to be understood by one and all in the technology driven fast changing world challenges and opportunities abound world is changing faster lot of opportunities are coming new opportunities are coming new avenues are available we in india must take advantage of the same and also equip our children with the necessary wear weather to face the challenges and to grab the opportunities and then move forward we were all aware that many of our students who have excelled in india some of them have gone abroad and they are leading many companies they are leading lights they are the ceos because this land this air this water there is something fertile and special in this water and we if you will give opportunities to the children i am sure they will excel the students must be trained to think quickly stand on their feet be agile and be innovative using the cutting edge technologies to solve the 21st century problems we must have an education strategy aligned to this futuristic approach and shun rote learning we must also do away with the artificial segregation between curriculum and extra curricular activities and encourage multidisciplinary in education in the old gurukul system the teacher spent time and stayed with the student allowing for the character building and the correct assessment of the people i am happy when mr selvam told me that the teachers are going to stay with families in this campus along with the children that's a very good initiative and it should be encouraged Dwellur International School. They are trying to introduce this concept of house parent to integrate the positive aspects of Guru Sishya Parampara with modern pedagogical practices. Sisters and brothers, another aspect that we must pay attention is the use of mother tongue in school education. Wherever it's possible. at least until the primary or high school level we must have the medium of instruction in public and in private schools in the mother tongue i insist in mother tongue mother tongue is like your eyes the other language is like your spectacles if you have eyesight then even if you wear spectacles there will be better sight otherwise you will lose sight this has to be understood the mistake we have done because of colonial people they insisted on their language to be taught to our children ignoring our our languages we have beautiful great ancient languages the great ancient tamil telugu kannada malayali marathi assami punjabi bhojpuri in the all these languages they are very rich but we were not encouraged to teach our children in mother tongue now the time has come 
again we have to revert back go to the roots and follow the mother tongue root i am not against other languages learn as many languages as possible first first prioritize mother tongue promote practice profess and proud to be speaking and talking in mother tongue at home in your street in your village in your school in your temple in your prayer hall you must talk to each other in mother tongue then only other tongue whatever tongue you want to learn this has to be understood by one and all we must encourage students to speak freely in their mother tongue in their social environment in the school premises in all the cultural events and at their homes only and we can freely and proudly speak our mother tongue can we truly appreciate our cultural heritage india is a great civilization ancient civilization rich civilization our forefathers who have lived for thousands of years they have given us this and we must continue that legacy respecting nature respecting culture respecting parents respecting grandparents respecting others that is part of our culture we must practice and promote that culture we must first learn to live with the nature nature culture together for a bright future nature culture together for a bright future i am very happy that here the children will have an opportunity in this campus to live with the nature with the trees with the sun with the moon with the water all these things are being taken care i'm happy and i want that all the institutions across the country they should follow this system light must be coming then only your future will be bright without light you cannot be bright you may be tight understand this and we have seen the recent pandemic corona where people have suffered a lot and note that the rural people are less affected because they live with the nature and also they walk they work whereas urban people who are deprived of that opportunity congestion we must have peace peace is the prerequisite for progress if you have tension you cannot pay attention and have the retention it can be only a pretension understand this so be friendly with the nature and try to learn as many languages as possible multilingualism can lead to better cognitive development and doubtedly among the children proficiency in other languages in addition to one's mother tongue helps build cultural bridges and open windows to new worlds of experience that's why i tell the students all students promote your mother tongue and learn as many languages as possible first the indian languages then foreign languages national language then international language we should not have any inhibition to oppose any language i always say that do not impose any language at the same time do not oppose any language no imposition or no opposition that should be the proposition and be our position understand this that is for our future you must be able to communicate with a number of people maximum number of people if you know their language then only you will be able to communicate otherwise you will not so first after focusing mother tongue then go for brother tongue and then go for other tongues this has to be understood by all the school stage is an important stage in child's future so this is formative years you must shape their personality and mold their character character is very important then caliber then capacity then conduct first character if you have good character you will be appreciated 
you will be recognized and you will be respected. So, try to build up character among the children and I call upon the children also, try to mold your character and then try to be friendly with the nature, try to be friendly with your friends. Share and care is the core of Indian philosophy, I always say. Share and care. So we have to be friendly and we must be really progressing towards service-mindedness. Serving others, serving the poor is serving the God. This is our philosophy and that is the truth also. By serving the needy, you will feel happiness. You will gain more strength. You will have more courage. So please move in that direction. First to focus on your studies and then be friendly with others and develop a positive mind. Positive mind, constructive mind, not obstructive or destructive. We must have a constructive mind, positive mind. Feel proud that you are an Indian. Irrespective of caste, creed, sex, religion and region, we are all Indians. Attack to Katak, Kanyakuma to Kashmir, India is one. We must all love the country. Country means people. We must be concerned about others' welfare also. It is the bane of modern and competitive education that students are often constrained to the four walls of classroom in the name of academics. They must experience the world outside, spend time in the lap of nature, interact with all sections of society and understand various crafts and trades. Classroom programs must be able, supplemented with active participation in the field activities, social awareness and community service initiatives. There is a dire need to inculcate the spirit of service in the students from the young age. My dear friends, we must focus on two things, youngsters. One, try to be physically fit. Take up some physical activity. If you become lazy, then you will become crazy. This has to be understood. So one should be active. If you are physically fit, you will be mentally alert. And there will be brightness on your face. This is one thing, eh? Whatever activity you want to do, play kabaddi, coco, you want to play hockey, you want to play football, you want to play any sport of your choice. Choice is yours. There are a lot of... You want to go for cycling, cheapest, easiest, healthiest cycling. You want to go for yoga, that will add to your personality, reduce your tension. That is also equally important. Then focus on good positive food habits. We must eat protein food. I am not giving you any food code or asking this to eat this or that eat. Whatever you want to eat, vegetarian, non-vegetarian, more kolambu or varthu kolambu, whatever it is, avial, anything. Eat Indian food because it is time tested. Food is decided according to season and reason in India. Reason, region also. North may, south may. What to eat, what not to eat, what to avoid in which season. This is all has been experienced by our people and they have given it to us. So follow good food habits. Don't go for this stuff. Junk food, I call it a junk food. Go for good Indian food. There is no dearth of food, that too, in Tamil Nadu. Very good qualities. Friends, I am once again very happy to have inaugurated this school today. My best wishes to Dr. Viswanathangaru, Sri Selvam, Sri Shekhar, management and staff of the school, as well as the VIT group, as they undertake the very important mission of nurturing and nourishing the young minds. Let me conclude by recalling a verse from Tirukkural which says, Ketil Viduchalvam Kari Yeruvarku Madala Matrai Evai which means knowledge is the only true imperishable wealth. Very important message. Try to understand. Vanakkam Namaskara Jai Hind.